Hey, how's it going guys? Happy holidays and a Merry Christmas to you and your family. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, you know, the Game Awards show was just happened like a week ago from me recording this. And I figure why not do my own Game Awards show? I'm going to be giving awards to games that I played on my channel this year in the past three months. And we're going to we're gonna see how it goes. And I'm going to go blind from staring at this light. So without further ado, welcome one and all to the Gravity Saint Games Awards Show Game Ceremony thing. Let's get into our first game. I'm going to be going through the games in order from when I played them. So the very first game I ever played was Cry of Fear. Now, to sum up Cry of Fear, um, just uh, watch this. Oh my god, no! I have one bullet left. Yeah, that was Cry of Fear. I played it three, I did three episodes on it. I couldn't get some certain features to work on it. So I ended up stopping it. I actually didn't finish it. I have yet to finish it. I don't plan to finish it. Uh, but, you know, if, if the crowd wants it, I might consider a uh, replay of it. Um, I don't miss it, though. Game number two that I played on my channel was Pacify. Pacify was fun at, for like five minutes. And then once you got past the five minute mark, um, it got really repetitive. It wasn't very fun. I mean, it was fun, I guess. I, I had fun with Adam. I always have fun with Adam, <laughs> you know. But uh, to sum up Pacify, I would say it's fun for five minutes and it's scary for five minutes and then it's just annoying. Game number three is SpongeBob's Day of Terror. This was a free game that I downloaded off of a website for free and it was very short and it was okay. If I could sum up SpongeBob's Day of Terror in one word, it would be <clears throat> game number four, the baby in yellow. I freaking loved the baby in yellow. The baby in yellow was so freaking funny. I loved the baby in yellow because you could throw the baby around. I love ragdoll physics. I'm a sucker for ragdoll physics. And this game has plenty of it in the form of a child. <laughs> if you want to throw around a baby, it's for free. You look it up, the baby in yellow. It's a free download. If you want to throw a baby around and it turns demonic, play it. I highly recommend 10 out of 10. Uh, rag dolls. Oh, I forgot to rate. Ah, doy. I forgot to rate the other ones. Cry of Fear. I give it four out of ten. Knife ladies. Pacify. I give it a two baby dolls. SpongeBob's Day of Terror. I give it a seven. <clears throat> the baby in yellow. I give nine out of ten babies. Aww. The fifth game that I played on my channel. Courage the Cowardly PT. Now, <laughs> this game, <laughs> this game sucked butt. And the reason it sucked butt, not that it was a bad game, well, it was kind of a bad game. It was very, it looked like it was made very quickly, and the only thing that it really did well is jump scares. It, it had a few hard hitting jump scares that came out of nowhere, but the part that sucked about the jump scares is the audio. They bl they raped your ears, dude. They they took the audio from the jump scares and just went like, ba bazinga. It was not a good experience. I give uh, SpongeBob's Day of Terror. What did I say? SpongeBob's Day of Terror. I meant Courage the Cowardly PT. I give it this many stupid, stupid dog. dog. The sixth game that I played on my channel was. Five Nights at Freddy's 1. It's a solid game. I have no complaints with it. I mean, it was kind of frustrating dying and not knowing why I was dying because I thought I was doing everything somewhat right. If you are a gamer or know anything about games, you have heard of Five Nights at Freddy's. I don't need to explain it. Uh, it's it's a good game. It's a good game. I recommend it, actually. It's, it's, pretty, it's a different gameplay than most games out there. So I, I recommend... Five Nights at Freddy's. That's a Gravity Saint recommendation. I give Five Nights at Freddy's one. 10 out of 10, the bears. Number seven, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> who's your daddy? I played that game with my buddy Isaac. <laughs> Thank you so much for playing that with me. Uh, it is actually a fun freaking game, to be completely frank with you. It is 
hilarious to play with friends. There, you cannot play it alone. It is like multiplayer only. It is a good time to say the least. If you're stupid and you have a friend who is also stupid, you will love Who's Your Daddy. It is freaking hilarious. This is a game for you. I give it 10 out of 10 dead babies. The eighth game I played on my channel was a game called Mon. Mon? It's spelled like lawn, but with an M. So I'm gonna say Mon. Uh, how do I describe Mon? Short. In one word, it was very short. It killed it with audio. The game itself wasn't very scary. It was a free game I found online, so you can't expect much. It's not a AAA title or anything. But what it did well, it did well. The atmosphere of the game was very amazing. I actually, there was a part where it knocked on my door, and I literally thought that someone knocked on my door in real life. Here's the clip right here. It's just me, little old Nikki. Someone on the terrace? Yeah, that was, that was that. Uh, I think it deserves six out of 10 terraces. The ninth game on my channel is Cooking Simulator. Cooking Simulator is awesome, actually. If you like cooking and you want to try just goofing around and trying things, just get Cooking Simulator. It's actually really well made. I like simulation games. I'm a sucker for simulation games, and it was it was great. I, I need to play more of it. I plan to in the future. Yeah, I recommend Cooking Simulator to anybody. It's really cool. It makes me feel like Gordon Ramsay a little bit, and it's just fun to goof around and stuff because I don't ever take simulation games seriously. It's good stuff. Cooking Simulator gets 8 out of 10 uh, Chick-fil-A sandwiches. Number 10 on my list is Paralysis. Paralysis is a game about laying in bed and waking up and not being able to uh, move, which actually happens. It's a real thing that happens called sleep paralysis. And I actually have been through sleep paralysis a number of times and it is terrifying this game however is just silly uh, whenever I have sleep paralysis at least I can't speak for all the people who have it but when I get it I don't see demons and decapitated teddy bears it was very goofy it looked like it was a free game so you can't expect much from it like I said before but it was okay I guess for a free game I give paralysis uh, I give it three eyelids three open eyelids number 11 on my list is granny simulator granny simulator is just like who's your daddy except better i love granny simulator so much i love stupid games i'm stupid and so my brain likes to play stupid games just like with who's your daddy if you have a stupid friend you are gonna love this stupid game it's a grandma who's just trying to do her thing. She's just like, oh help, oh help me, I'm just trying to cross the street. And then there's a little kid who comes out and he's like, hey grandma, pa! And he like, go kick her or he'll throw a grenade at her. Honestly, when I described it like that, it sounds really stupid. Look, just check it out. If you have a stupid friend, I highly recommend it. It is loads of fun. I give Granny Simulator 10 out of 10 dead grandmas. The twelfth game on my list is Layers of Fear. Layers of Fear came out a while ago. It does good stuff. You know, it's very good. I enjoy it. I never beat it. It was okay. You know, it, it doesn't have an actual monster. Like you can't die in it. It's more like an. Ex it's more like a walking simulator. Stuff pops out of you. It jump scares. It, it gives you some spooky vibes. It's solid. That's a good word for it. It's a solid game. It's not bad, but it's not incredible. I give. Layers of Fear, 6 out of 10 paintbrushes. Number 13 on the list is The Call of Karen, another free game that I found on Steam. Uh, the Call of Karen is a free game. The objective of Call of Karen is you play as a housewife in the 50s who is just trying to do her 50s housewife things, makes breakfast for her kids and, and make meatloaf for her husband and vacuum the floor when the, when the kid's at school and the, and the dad's at work. Uh, but all while you're doing this, Cthulhu, god of the universe, is uh, messing things up, kind of kind of making it a little tricky to do your everyday things as Karen. Uh, so, have, not to spoil it or anything, but you kill Cthulhu in the end it's a it's a free game like I said it's a it's a free game I give the call of Karen two out of ten 
Cthulhu Tentacles. Number 14 on the list is Wrong Floor. Another free game I found, but this is a spooky game, and it is actually freaking terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. If you wanna get scared at all, just play Wrong Floor. It made me not wanna move. Like, I just, I didn't wanna be anywhere where the game was putting me. And, I, and to me, that is when a game does good. And it was a free game too. You can download it right now for free. I, it was freaking good, man. I give Wrong Floor 10 out of 10 elevator shafts. Number 15 on my list is Spider-Man Miles Morales. I am a huge stan of Spider-Man. Spider-Man is my freaking hero. I love everything about him. I love all of his powers. When I was a kid, I dressed up like Santa. I mean, sometimes I think that I'm actually mentally challenged. When I was a child, I dressed up like Spider-Man. I, I have Spider-Man t-shirts. I love Spider-Man, and I love the first Spider-Man that came out. Insomniac, the company who made Spider-Man, does a phenomenal job here. Again, they took everything that was good about Spider-Man 1, and they shoved it in to Miles Morales, and it is just phenomenal. I give Spider-Man Miles Morales 11 out of 10. That was a Spider-Man, like, I don't know if I'll be good enough to edit a web sling, but here, I'll try it. Yeah, there we go. I just made Editor Simon want to kill me just then. <laughs> Sorry, Editor Simon, but I'm having fun right now, and you have to pay for it. Yeah, don't make that face. You get paid to do that. This kid, I don't, he doesn't get paid. I don't have enough money to pay him yet. Number 16 on my list is The Sims 4. The Sims 4, you know, I, I played The Sims when I was little. I played The Sims busting out. That was the first Sims that I played. And um, you know what I just freaking realized? I'm wearing a sweater in front of a green screen that has a green dinosaur on it. This whole video, my chest is exposed. Simon? You damn genius, you've done it again. <laughs> oh, hello, Venus. Oh, Venus decided to join us. Oh. You want to say anything for the people? And that was Venus, everybody. Where was I at? I already forgot. The Sims 4! Every Sims, every time they release one, it, it gets better and better. Because, I mean, they just take every... They have the same formula. They have the formula of having a life. And then it just gets better and better and better and better and better every year. With more graphics, they add more stuff. You can do anything you want to in The Sims. And I, unfortunately, am not very good at it. You know, everyone's been asking me. They've been bugging me. Everyone's been DMing me. They've been saying, Gravity, Gravity Saint, Gravity Saint, when are we going to get more Chad Swaggy? When is Chad Swaggy going to be back? And to those people, and you know who you are, Chad Swaggy is dead. I can't even imagine how you sleep at night thinking that I could replace such an iconic character on this channel. Chad Swaggy is the golden boy of Gravity Saint Games. And you think that I can just waltz up in there and make another Chad Swaggy, even though I was the one who told you that I would eventually? Yeah, right, okay. Cue the Billie Eilish, because I'm the bad guy. Well, you know what? Screw you guys, because I, I might do it eventually. I, just not right now. Uh, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. The Sims 4, I will give 7 out of 10 burning bodies. Number 17 is Bigfoot. Bigfoot is very fun. It is a lot of walking through the woods, but you have to be strategic. It's probably one of the more strategic games that I've played. Bigfoot is very big, very powerful, and very hard to defeat. So you need to get a very skilled team of players to defeat this big boy. And I just have David. Bigfoot is fun if you have a few friends who want to goof off in the woods together, virtually. I give Bigfoot a 6 out of 10 small hands. Number 18 on the list is Exorcist Legion VR. So Exorcist Legion is a spooky game, obviously, because it's the freaking Exorcist. Everything that the Exorcist Legion does, it does extraordinarily good. Exorcist Legion is one of the best VR experiences I've had and also one of the worst. It's one of the best 
VR experiences I've had because it's just a good working game. Like it actually works very well. I love the concept of it. You play as a detective who goes around murder cases or uh, possible de demonic situations and you exercise demons and you have a little toolkit with you, which I love the toolkit so much. It is. It makes me feel powerful. It makes me feel like as a demon slayer. It's not just jump scares, guys. A lot of spooky games, they'll come in there and they'll just be like, jump scare, jump scare, blah, you put in your face, loud noises. There, there is a few, few of that in The Exorcist, but the, the atmosphere, dude, the atmosphere is just mind-boggling. How they did that, and in VR, I know watching it on a screen is different, but in VR, man, actually experiencing it yourself it is spooky it is terrifying and it makes me want to poop my pants i give exorcist legion 20 out of 10 crucifixes yeah that sounds right number 19 on the list of games that i played in 2020 on my channel pistol whip pistol whip is just a great time man i love pistol whip you know i, I still play it on my own not recording it is so satisfying whenever you actually land a shot i can't land the shot very well but whenever i do i feel like john wick it makes you feel like baba yaga it's one of my favorite vr games it's just a fun experience you know i give pistol whip 10 out of 10 baba yagas number 20 on the list of games that i played in 2020 is vader immortal vader immortal was a lot of fun except for the stupid robot which i don't even know her name i think her name was like abx 2 x 274 xyz i don't know i call her karen because she's annoying as f and i hate her so much but you know that's what is charming about the game you know it's charming to hate a uh, android <laughs> you, you can't really see it in the gameplay you can't feel it the way you feel it in vr but whenever Darth Vader first comes out and you see him in person. He is super tall, first of all. And it's like, you can feel his presence in the air. I don't know who developed it, but whoever did, they did a great job at making Darth Vader like actually scary and terrifying. I give uh, Vader Immortal chapter one. I give it a nine out of 10 stupid androids. So take it or leave it. Hey Venus, you wanna be in the video Venus? I don't think you've actually ever properly met venus but this is my cat venus she's a little dick sometimes and she's dramatic sometimes she'll just yell at her brother for no reason and i love her more than anything sue me i keep it 100 on this channel and i 100 percent love that little flea ball even though she's laying on my script she's literally i can't read the next one number 21 on the games list of games that i played in 2020 is phasmophobia it's a new game that actually came out in 2020 so it could actually win a, a legit award this year <laughs> phasmophobia is a lot of fun it's heckin fun man it, it's scary i know that the, a lot of people complain i i've seen this i've experienced it a lot of the times and you'll find yourself walking around and sounding like an idiot saying like uh, Jessica Roberts, Jessica Roberts. I think it builds tension, you know, after you just walk around and not hearing anything, not finding any sign of a ghost, and then all of a sudden, like, your EMF reader pops up to five. It's really satisfying, and it's really scary, actually. I give Phasmophobia 10 out of 10 spooky ghost names. Spooky ghost names. Spooky ghost names? Yeah, whatever. We'll go with it. Number 22 on the list of games that I played in 2020 is Cyberpunk 2077. Cyberpunk 2077 is good, you know? It was very hyped up. That That is the th its biggest downfall, is it was so overhyped. So many people were expecting this game to change their lives. So many people, they took off work for a month just to sink into Cyberpunk 2077. And you know, if I didn't have work, I'd be playing Cyberpunk 2077 right now, probably. I don't know, I'd probably be doing this exactly if I didn't have work. And I think everyone expected it to be a good game, but not to be a god game, you know? Like, Jesus Christ isn't gonna be playing Cyberpunk 2077 anytime soon, for multiple reasons. <laughs> Cyberpunk 2077, uh, Gravity Saints rating of it is, uh, it's an eight out of 10 customized penises. Number 23 on the list of games that I've played in 2020 is Lollipop. 
Lollipop, I don't even know if it was a game. I, I didn't I didn't know if I should put it on the list of games because it's not a game at all. It's a spooky experience. That's what it is. It's an experience. You, you sit in front of the webcam and you just watch it play out. And it's really scary, actually. Uh, I had a green screen up whenever I played it, which I think messed it up for me. I don't think it was supposed to look the way that it looked with this. You know, it was spooky and I liked it a lot. Uh, I wish that they do more. Whoever developed Lollipop, make more of that. The world wants more. And if you don't, I get my fan base to come after you and kill you guys. I'm just kidding. Don't don't do that, guys. Don't kill anybody, please. I give Lollipop eight out of ten Tootsie Rolls. Pop, pop, Tootsie Roll pops. Number 24 on the list of games that I played on my channel in 2020 is Slay Bells. Slay Bells was pretty dope, actually. It was a free game I found. It is, I mean, pretty good. It's pretty decent. You know, you play as a prostitute. It's Christmas time and. Santa's a murderer and you gotta kill Santa. It's, it's pretty cool actually. I recommend it. I beat it in like 20 minutes. If you want to play a short little free game that's interesting, I recommend it. Sleigh Bells. I give Sleigh Bells a 7 out of 10 Santa's decapitated head. Merry Christmas. Number 25 on the list of games that I played on my channel in 2020 is... The cabin, it sucks a lot. I, I know that I couldn't develop a game better than that. If I did a game, it would probably be worse than what the cabin was, but I don't make games so I can judge them because I play them and the cabin sucks. Like I said, it was a better game than what I could make personally. And if it was their first attempt, then it was a okay. It, it was okay. <laughs> yeah, it was not good. I feel like they should have added a lot more. And the game, literally, I, I finished it in two minutes. Like it was a two-minute long game. Which, that might be what they were going for. I don't know. Maybe I'm being too hard on it. I don't recommend it to anybody, honestly. The Cabin gets 0 out of 10 Rudolph the Reindeer Ball Sacks. And last, but certainly not least, on the list of games that Gravity Saint has played on his channel in 2020 is the thirstiest time of the year. The time that I recorded this, it is December 16th, 2020. I'm, pr I'm probably gonna play more games after this game, but this is the last one that I've played up until this point of recording. The thirstiest time of the year was funny. It was great, actually. <laughs> it makes me want a Sprite Cranberry. I like LeBron James, and so I, it was really nice to see his twin brother, LeBron James, get a job, get a gig, you know? It was really nice to see that happen. It was a short little free game that was just like a little like joke. It was more like a meme. One of Sprite Cranberry commercial was actually relevant. I give the thirstiest time of the year, um, I give it a 2 out of 10 Sprite Cranberries. I am going to open this door. Want a Sprite Cranberry? Uh -huh. The answer is... There you have it. There is my review and my two cents on all the games that I played in 2020. But now it's time to decide a winner the best game who takes the cake place your bets there's a poll on twitter you can submit your your you can submit your nominees now the nominees for the best game that i played in 2020 are exorcist legion vr ah! the baby in yellow let's go baby <laughs> wrong floor the body's gone Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Too far away. Yeah. Phasmophobia. Where are you at? I swear if you kill me, woman. Where are you at? <gasps> and Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, you can put a little heart of pubes over his uh, weenie. Place your ballots and get ready to see the winner. They're coming up after these messages from our sponsor i don't have any sponsors please someone sponsor me quick please i need money please i want money i don't want to quit my job please looks like the votes are in uh, if you can just hand me that envelope sir thank you thank you sir for handing me the envelope and it looks like the winner of the 20 the first annual uh 2020 gravity saint games awards show game of the year award goes to SpongeBob's Day of Terror! Wait. Wait, I'm sorry, that's the wrong one. Sorry. 
I have the real one right here in my pocket. And the winner of the 20, yeah, you get it, yeah, okay. Exorcist Legion VR! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! It's such a good game! It deserves, it deserves to win! Exorcist Legion VR is is really the best game that I played in 2020. It was a good solid game. I mean, it's hardcore, man. If you like being scared, I highly recommend it. Thank you everybody so much for coming to the first annual Gravity Saint Games uh, Award Show Review Games Extravaganza 2020. Uh, we hope to see you again next year. I hope to be here next year with playing many more games. I hope you all have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And thank you all for supporting my channel. I wholeheart <gasps> I wholeheartedly love each and every one of y'all. I really appreciate all the support that I've gotten. Everybody who watches my videos every day, every time I upload one. I really it means a lot. And I really mean that. And I want to be great grateful for all of my subscribers. You all are amazing. And I appreciate all the support. Again, I guess that's it for me. Hot sauce videos coming out soon. And I'll see you guys in the next next one and i have a confession too i have two mics this this one isn't even plugged in but i, I thought it would look cooler as an announcer see you guys later bye bye